Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how to subscribe to a Clover meal box. So the first thing you want to make sure is that you're in this meal boxes area of the Clover app or if you're using it on desktop. Um, doesn't matter which, but just make sure that you're not on restaurants, that you are on meal boxes. This is where all the meal box stuff happens. So if you want a subscription box, meaning that it arrives every week unless you pause it, you'll come here to subscription boxes. And I'm in a cozy mood, so I think I'm gonna go with a soup Wednesday box. So I come in here, I can see a sample menu, I can see what soup Wednesday is, and I can even peek at next week's menu. So I noticed on there it said that my uh, most um, that my next eligible delivery was on June 28th. Um, so I'm going to come to June 28th here. And this is great because it's spicy coconut lentil soup. I love that soup. That's actually something that we do in the restaurants. Um, a lot of the meal box menu, as you can see here, there's just an amazing amount of stuff. And a lot of it isn't things that we can do in the restaurant. So it's you get to experience like, what would a clover burger taste like? What would a clover taco taste like? But this soup happens to be something that we actually do do in the restaurants, and I really like it. So I'm definitely going to be opting into that delivery. So then you're going to do small or large. Small size feeds two to three. Large feeds four to five people. If you're eating alone, I'd recommend starting out with a small. If you have a big family or you want to eat soup for multiple meals in the week, go with a large. Um, and then just click Setup Plan and Activate. So then once you've activated, you'll come here, you'll get this nice dashboard. I happen to be subscribed to Taco Tuesday as well as Soup Wednesday, so I'm going to scroll down to Soup Wednesday. And there's a bunch of things you can do here. So at the top, you can see when do I need to make changes by in order for um, my delivery to arrive. Um, I can also um, opt in to pick up my subscription and get a $10 coupon that way. Um, and then I can like um, pause or unpause my plan. So. In order to uh, make sure that you get a delivery, just make sure that you've got a green check mark. And then my taco order you can see is already locked in. So it's already past the point where I can make any changes to that and it's coming to me on Tuesday. You can play around with this for the entire month and you can even go many months in um, advance. So. I'm going to be out of town for the 4th of July weekend, maybe, so I'm going to go ahead and pause those, but I'm going to keep these on. And then you can confirm. What if I want to add some add-ons? So um, I can do add-ons for any of my subscriptions. Um, maybe I'll try some for my taco subscription because I'm from Texas and I could eat like taco type things all week long. Um, so maybe I'll do a breakfast taco kit, uh, maybe I'll do a Tex-Mex platter kit. This says Nashville hot mushroom kit, that's something that we're going to be doing only a few days it'll be available, so that's why that looks kind of weird here. Um, but the hot mushroom kit will be available for some subscriptions. And then I'm having a party next week, so maybe I'll also add a Mediterranean party pack. And you'll want to save your order once you've added any add-ons here. And one note with add-ons to be very um, aware of, it says right here, all add-ons will automatically roll over with your subscription week to week. So if you don't want an add-on anymore, just make sure you remove it before the next order deadline. And that's all you need to know. Um, if you have any questions, you can always email us at box at cloverfoodlab.com. Enjoy your subscription!